Hey everybody, SirXTR here. Welcome back to Kulate or Kulot or however you want to say it. I have no clue. Can I jump yet? No. Okay, well, we arrived wherever we arrived to. Press F for, for or F1. Okay. For survival information. Left shift and the deep snow is tiring. Adjust the pace of surrounding conditions so you don't exhaust your organ, your organism. For setting off for a longer journey, rest in the camp instead of go for a safe route. You can focus right main button on any object to take a better look at it. Light in your way with a flashlight. Observe the environment. Careful for better navigation with the help of the map and compass. Very accessible rocky no notions may lead to interesting places and shortcuts to gain access to them. Sometimes I have to squeeze through left control line obstacles or jump off them. Okay, well that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and... What is that? Huh, that's interesting. There was something over there it looked like. So we can actually tire out and shit. That's kind of cool. Oh, let's we'll see what's over here. I see some kind of lighting going on. Hello? Maybe you can see this better now. No, it keeps blurring out when you look at it. Oh, here we go. I set out the moment I heard about the incident. I was in the area, so I reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. I arrived at Vishai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural oh nice all right give me a moment guys i've got to turn on the light i'll cut right back hold on all right sorry about that guys i meant to cut the light on before and i forgot to so i love how they actually read everything that's really cool also saves my voice for making snide comments and stuff so something got these guys spooked and killed these students so Let's find out. That's what we're here for. Oh, that's not natural. Oh, that isn't either. Holy crap. Bro, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That was not natural at all. Yeah, no. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. That was creepy. Hello? There's the tent. I seen some orange glow, so. Where is this? Oh, this isn't the tent we was just at, I don't think. Oh, but we save here at the tents. Okay, I see. Okay, let's see here. We have we have our map. We can kind of zoom in. That's cool. Let's go up this way, maybe. There should be some paths. We'll go ahead and go up this way and check it out.
Can't really jump, I can tell. Well, shit. Should go check out what that red beacon is up there. I don't know if we can make it up that far, though. Well, let's see. We gotta keep... It's one of those games where you just gotta keep checking your map. Well, we can actually hold... Oh! Neat. So I want to check this out. So we need to go... Oh, where the hell are we? Okay, so that's where that stone shit happened. That's where that is. Tent. So maybe we can go... We'll go uh, We'll go up towards past this tent and go check out that area because I have no... I really honestly have no clue on how to read that, so... We'll just go ahead and adventure around and see what we come up with. This should be interesting. Holy crap, what is that? Well. Okay, so. This is very interesting. Let's. Okay, this is north of. North or south of. You know, hell with it. Let's just go exploring. We don't have time for this shit. Let's check above the camp and see if there's anything going on. Don't see nothing unusual here. Just the cold weather to... Wait, is that a cave? Uh, no cave entrance. Hmm. The atmosphere of this game, being uh, really alone and being a truly terrified of either the elements or whatever hides in in the darkness waiting for us to claim our very soul is very interesting. Maybe we have a way up there. Is there a cave over here? And yes, I'm looking for caves because apparently caves are very... or something we'll see a lot of, or I think. No, nothing but the trees. And I love how the wind picks up and then it goes away. The wind picks up, goes away. That's really cool. Well, shit. Where do we go from here? I really want to check up there or getting over here somewhere. But I don't see... The moon lights our way. Well, hell. Whoa, whoa, we got something here. We will take this. Oh, it doesn't read everything for you. Mysterious lights above the Savabani Cosmodrome. Mysterious events in the sky were noted during the, the night of 4 to 5th July. Witnesses testified they had seen a bright orange sphere which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically, immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Girica, an aviation professional, confirms it is impossible for any fine object we know to move like that. Military and Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in that area as well as there were no tests performed. Okay, well. So... Terrestrial life? So we're not really going up against anything supernatural like demons or anything like that, but it's more or less aliens. Ah, figures. I mean, more alien horror games do we need? I mean, aliens aren't really scary, or, or not really scary to me. I'd, I'm not a big fan of aliens, except for maybe Dead Space. I love that game. That's a different... That's because we had a real super threat that was willing to rip our legs off, so... We'll see what this game can provide for us that that game cannot. Looks like we're journeying down the hill here. Oh, here's a bridge. Okay, well... Can we get over to the bridge here and... Oh, that wind's whipping pretty good.
Yeah, we definitely don't want that bridge falling down or we're, we'd probably die. What is over here? Okay, yeah. That looks dangerous. Fall and we die. And I still can't get over... Still want to kind of get over and see what that red tower is. But we've got a little ways to go before we can get over there, I believe. Damn, that's... What was that? Oh, they don't look scary. Look at that skull. Huh. We are sitting in room number 23. Although now sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully, and it's snowing outside. Well, you know how far you made it? You died. Oh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't easy. I don't think this is safe, but I want to check out the skull, so... That is cool. Now that is what you call design work. Huh. Could the skull be our impending death? Could be. Ah, we've got more area we can go up from here. I like this. This this full exploration, like this wind is like going nuts. Can we make this? Yeah, there we go. Hey, I'm on I'm on top of the world, so to speak. Uh that can't go nowhere else apparently though. Damn. Uh, let me up there. Ah. Uh-uh. Oh, no. It is not a good day to die. Not today. Woo, woo, woo. Gotta be really careful. One wrong... One wrong move, and we'll be late. <laughs> we'll be dead. That is really creepy, but very awesome at the same time. So, I love how this game has its exploration thing going on. It's really cool. Try to get. I was gonna try to get up there, but oh hell, one wrong move and I'm dead. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, let's go back around. Nothing we can really do there. So but where are we anyway? Does it not show us on the map? Oh, it does show us the documents we picked up, so... Here's a bridge, so... Maybe right here? No? Is that the only documents we picked up? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So we're actually really kind of above the camp, but there's more skulls and shit. Huh. Interesting. want to see a little bit more of this game before I stop the to end this part here. Okay, so now we're down in the valley where there's more skulls, apparently. That is not good. I would think that's a warning sign. Well, oh, was that one not going to work? Nope. Let's try this side. If this doesn't work, then uh, we'll hit back camp and go ahead and end this part. Because I cannot get up here, I don't think. 
No, that ain't gonna happen. Uh oh. No! Okay, I thought I got stuck. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I don't see a way around it either. Oh well, we tried. So far, it hasn't been scary. I haven't seen nothing yet, but probably not that far into it yet. But let's go ahead and try to make our way back to camp. We're going to go ahead and save and end this part. And then we'll take another road and see where we go from there. Because I don't see another camp. Could obviously go down this way maybe? Or is this death? Uh, that's death. That looks like it's down in some water and I would die. Alright, by the way the moon's sitting, we could probably find our way back to the camp. I think it's right over here. So no big deal. We've gone that way, we couldn't find nothing. Yeah, it's right over here. Because I guess when I go to the camp it actually saves. So far nothing scary's happened except for maybe the rocks. Uh, just a little bit of exploring and maybe we'll find something else that we can do. I'll, I'll take a look around a little bit, maybe do another video once I find somewhere else to go. But uh, I will not be able to do another one today. Sadly, I've got a lot of stuff I've got to do. Unless something happens in the next little bit. Which I don't see anything. Uh, uh, is it one of those high exploration games but gets super boring because you, you can't really find anything going on. It takes you a little while to get started. Okay, that was creepy. Well, where's my camp at? What the hell? I'm... Okay, that's maybe where we need to go next time. Large ass goalie right there. That's probably where death lies. That'll be okay. Let's bring out the survival kit. Um. Yeah, but where's my where's my camp at? I can't find it. Uh, it didn't take me long to find it the last time. I am so confused on where the camp is at. I don't understand. Where did it fucking go? Huh. It didn't just up and walked away, did it? Okay, that's the statue. So it's up just up north a little bit, I would think. Oh, okay, I thought my game just quit, but uh, had some kind of stuttering problem with Something going on. Oh, here it is. I'm stupid. I'm a dumb dumb head. Yeah, we finally found the tin again. Okay, can I not save? I'm hitting. Why is it turning on the map? Okay, I understand. I have no clue why it's... Want me to choose a destination? All I want to do is save. Can I can I save this way maybe? No, if I if I do that it, it quits. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to play through it again for you guys through again before I start again. I don't know. Alright guys, well thank you all for watching. I've gotta go ahead and get 
go ahead and finish this up. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like the video. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe and share. I uh, would really appreciate it. I don't understand why they don't have like a save feature where I could just kind of go in here, option save. Apparently it doesn't unless it's in the, like the main, going back to the main menu. But we'll find out here soon. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this is CR and I'm signing out.